Hello, I am Sang Eun Yoon. Do you guys know this character? It's Don Quixote. Have you ever imagined Don Quixote wearing a suit and tie working at the office in South Korea? My nickname and my workplace are artist and Don Quixote. There are times when you feel like you want to run away from work because you are released broken by your boss or you have too many things to do. What do you do when you feel down? Well, I have my own secret place where I can get away and recharge. Take a guess. I will give you a hint. In this place, you don't have to care about what other people think of you. And because of that, you can be honest with your feelings. It's the bathroom. To some people, it may be a small and unpleasant space, but for me, the office toilet is like heaven. In America, it's a sacred place. Guys call it the man throne. It's the light and salt, milk and honey, to my life. Everything has each place at work, just like the man throne in the toilet. At home, I felt that the hangers I used to hold my work clothes seemed very much like workers. As soon as become an office worker, you can predict what you will be doing, what you will earn, and where you will be every day. But every day has a different story. There are many unpredictable happenings at work. Each same folder hangers. Hangers know that their load is to maintain their shape and hold up clothes. And they know they belong in a closet. But hangers have no idea what clothes will be put on them. Yesterday was a coat. Today is a t-shirt. Tomorrow can be a suit. I felt that hangers were very similar to waking life. I shared this story with my co-worker, and they said, man, I really like the way you think. Then I thought, wow, I've had so many crazy ideas like these at work. It would be fun to enjoy them together. I spent time on various work ideas and came up with 10 themes. Then I set up the installation. These are a picture of my personal exhibition. This exhibition was advertised in the hallway of Gwangamun Station. I even did an interview as an artist. Many people say, oh, did you major in art? Or is your work art related? No, not at all. I mean, I've always dreamed of living as an artist who freely creates and expresses ideas. But my college degree and my job have nothing to do with art. So I didn't know how to start. I didn't have money, courage, or a patent fire. What comes to mind when it comes to work? I expect many negative works, such as unhappiness, tireless, discomfort, etc. But not for me. And I think what I'm about to share will change your way of thinking about work. People usually say they cannot do what they want to do because of their job. But actually, the workplace can be the best place to draw inspiration. Not only the artistic activities, but also the dream, big and small, you have had in your mind can be achieved through your job. Your job can be the key to achieving your dreams. How is this possible, you say? Well, I would like to talk a little more about work life. It is said that there are three enemies we met in our lives. Remember, what I'm about to tell you now 
If you have a pen and some paper handy, just some notes. The three enemies are a superior, a colleague, and a subordinate. <laughs> Today, my beloved enemies are sitting in the audience watching me now. Hello, my enemies. <laughs> some of us are aware of the phantom illness that takes over our body on Sunday. Knowing the weekend is close to over, and we have to get back to the grind. Of course, it's a joke, but it's also true. Work life is never easy. I think there are three facts common to a career, regardless of job or personality. The first one is, every day we are put in a wanted situation unexpectedly. Second, your income is a pixel, big or small. Third, like it a lot, you must mingle with other people. I think workers struggle with this for their whole lives. But thanks to these facts, workers have a hand the three basic necessities for Earth. Inspiration, money, and audience. I had my first private exhibition and made 10 works to fill a wide hole. I'm not an art major, and I have never done exhibition. I could only have done it because I was open-minded to everything I see at work as an inspiration. At work, I must handle unique situations of all kinds. The process of coping with these challenges gave me inspiration in ways I never imagined. An ordinary toilet transformed into a throne a top of a cloud in the heaven. Clothes hanger and shaded paper became great work materials, from which masterpieces could be sculpted. I was able to fully develop the able to approach and interpret ordinary life differently. The reason I was able to concentrate on my artwork and find a good gallery was thanks to my stable income. The second basic necessity required for making art. Rumor spread no faster than at the workplace. It means that it is the best play to share your ideas and touch quickly. So many of my, my work colleagues have been a supportive audience who enjoyed my first exhibition together. If you look at it, your workplace is a place where you can do more than an art student. Inspiration, money, and audience are important to achieve your dreams. It doesn't have to be art. Many, many of these workers dream of studying a business of their own. Some people dream of studying abroad, or just dream of moving to a better workplace. However, if you carefully, you will need your touch and inspiration in whatever you do. Funds to fulfill that goal are also important. Finally, you also need an audience who can acknowledge you and be supportive of your challenges, and sometimes to be critical and honest. And this gives us a clear answer why we should work hard. That's right, the things that you wrestle with every day at work actually help us gain the strength what we really want to do. Some people might think I could only say such thing because I'm so optimistic, but this is not just matter of being positive or negative. It is a question of how to objectively see and respond to our surrounding in our work life. I go to work every day to become a great artist. I do creative work every day to become a good worker. 
work, which seemed to be a shaker, stopping me from following my dreams, turned out to be my learning holes. I feel as if my life has become a Don Quixote adventure. Now, I feel a little happier on my way to work every morning. That's how I learn to love my work life and my job, even if it feels like being on a better field. Connect your dream to your work life to see things differently. Then you will find tomorrow will be better than yesterday. Thank you. <웃음> 세상의 모든 지혜가 담겨 있는 재미있는 세상을 바꾸는 시간 15분 구독 많이 부탁드립니다.